Alright, just another thing. I thought I was done, but I'm not. I just wanted to show you what it looks like under that um, white bit of plastic that has the belt drive on the on the fan motor. Um, you can see that what's happened here is because I've had this running for about half an hour, just um, drying, just to basically try and recondition this bearing a bit. Um, which you know some people would probably laugh at. They'd just be like, "Well, why didn't you replace it?" Well, I don't really feel like um, trying to pry that out of the plastic and then finding one. Uh, there's nowhere around here really that would, would sell these kind of things. I'd have to wait a while for it to be delivered. Um, so the reason why it looks like that is because um, presumably there's some rust in there, which isn't really surprising um, given the kind of the humidity and then the dryness that it's exposed to and the fact that there's so much moisture. Like down here, um, it's going to be pumping through more or less 100% uh, humid air, more or less all the time. Um, so um yeah basically like if, if i put a tissue on that we'll be able to actually see the bearing underneath underneath all the uh, rusty oil so I, i've done what i'm doing now about three times and i'm hoping that sooner or later it reaches a point where most of the um rust has actually been abraded away um and eventually I hope that we have a uh, bearing that's sort of working. Um, so just to show you uh, how the little hole works, it's pretty obvious. Uh, that just sits back on there. Um, as you can see it is rotating pretty well now on its own. Um, like I said it was actually fully stuck uh, tight when when I started this. Um, Alright, put the little put the little nut back on. Um, it is actually quite hard to do this nut up uh, when you can't access the fan blades underneath because it just spins. Um, so what I'm going to do is just uh, tighten this up fairly tightly by holding it. And there, it's, spin it's spinning now, but there's still enough friction there that uh, when this is operating, you know, correctly with a lubricated bearing, uh, the little motor, you know, being 75 watts, is going to have absolutely no problem spinning that. Uh, so I'll put the camera down and put the, the fan on. The fan belt, I mean. Alright, so the belt's on, and... So it's, it's spinning more or less how I'd like it, um, except I'm going to keep doing the lubrication thing until it, it stops showing up with rust. And so the idea I was saying before with that hole there is that even while it's on, all you need to do is put that there, which is really hard to do holding a camera, ironically. Um, and yeah, and, and that's it. And I mean, when it turns on, there's a little bit up here that's going to spray out. But, I mean, it's so little oil, you know, like a drop or two, um, if that. So I don't think there's any, like, fire risk or it's going to damage anything because it's, you know, it's, it's just oil. It doesn't even burn that well. Um, it's pretty hard to set fire to, so I don't think there's any fire risk um, from that. And so now I'm going to uh, turn this on, and it's going to be noisy um, without the case on. But, yeah, hopefully trying to improve that bearing. Um, even more. Alright, thanks, that should be it now.